Hollywood production, Australia. This is Sound Digital Video Entertainment Production, Hollywood, Australia Movie Industry. We bring you the best sound and unique picture in the movie industry. We are the future. Yes, we are the future.
그렇죠. 
Ain't no matter how you smart One day you must give account to It don't enter your brain You know fit to explain So you Good morning, Daddy. Oh, hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm fine, you. I'm okay. You dressed up already? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Thank you. I'm kind of a good to meet you. Is that right? It just be like him, but this thing not real. This thing is serious. Hello, Jennifer. Keep your greetings. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, 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 Jennifer. Oh, in that case, I've lost my appetite. So you, you, you're not eating anymore? No, not what she's fixing. I'm off to uni. Honey, breakfast is ready. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'll send Jenny. Come on. It's okay. Sure. TV up. Can't you see that I'm watching TV? I don't care. Do you live here? No, you don't live here. You should be ashamed of yourself, Dora. Pretending to be my friend while you're sleeping with my father. Everything you see in this house is because of the hard work of my mother and that help of my dad. And seeing cheap girls like you coming around trying to reap what you did not sow really pissed me off. I brought you bitch into this house. I am not a big Jennifer. Now, at least you've been blabbing all over this place today. I kept quiet. Now you listen. I love your dad and I truly am. And I don't care whether you understand. Dora, how many of your age group are out there looking for young beautiful girls like you? And you're here wasting your time on an old man, a man who is old enough to be your own dad. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Let me tell you a little story about how my dad become where he is today. It's because of the hard work of my mother. That is why he is where he is today. And seeing cheap girls like you coming around pissed me off. If not for the fact that she passed away two years after the election, you wouldn't have been here chipping yourself around. Go out there and find somebody your own age. Jenny, why don't you try to understand that what I and the dad have is true love? I don't care, Dora. Before I come back, get yourself out of, out of my house, okay? You are not part of this family and you will never be this family. Like Jennifer. Dora, you go find your own age and leave my dad alone. Jennifer, why don't you try to understand that when it comes to love, age, money doesn't matter. I love your dad. I truly am. Now let me just tell you how I met your dad. Mm. Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetheart. How, how are, are you? you? I'm good. Fine. Mm -hmm. Dad, this is my friend Dora. Oh. Dora, my dad. Oh, sit down. How are you, sir? I'm good. Welcome. Thank you. Dad, I'm coming. I came to pick something up. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, Dora. How are you? Hi, sir. Your name has been ringing bell in this house. Wow. Oh, yeah. Your dad and I are very close friends. Nice. I'm so glad you guys are that close. You like yourself so much. You see, Dora, there is something I want to tell you now. It may sound very stupid, but it's true. They say it, sir. From the day I saw your picture on my daughter's phone, because she has been saying so much about you, I fell in love with you. Sincerely speaking, I would love to marry you. No, that's not possible, sir. Why? Because your your daughter and I are very close, and what will people say? You don't relax about what people say. You see, people will always talk. Whether you do good or do bad, they will talk. Don't worry about them. Worry about me and how I'm going to take care of you. Remember, I am a minister. 
change your life totally from head to toe. You changed my life, sir? Of course. I will change your life for good. Are you sure, sir? Oh, of course. In that case, I'll marry you. Oh, my world. That's so good to hear. Yes. Don't worry, you're gonna enjoy me, okay? Okay. I'm off. I'll see you later. You are? Mm hmm Okay, uh, maybe when you come back, you'll not meet me at home because I'm going to the office. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, Dad, when am I going to start working at the office? No, I should be asking you there because the work has been there. I mean, the position has been vacant since over a week. But you've been too busy to notice. Mm. Okay, so what's the job description? Why don't you come over to the office? Let's talk about that. Okay, then. Yeah, whenever, okay. You, whenever you come to the office, we'll talk about it, okay? Okay. I'll see you then later. All right. All right. Be careful. Okay, let me drop you. All right. Daddy, see ya. Lo Daddy loves you. Love you too, Daddy. Uh, bye, Dora. Dora, I don't care about your stupid narration or how you met my father. Just go out there and look for somebody your own age. Leave us alone. You will never be, be part of this family. Never. I'm going in before I come back. Get the hell out of my house. It's not possible, Jennifer. It's too late. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Good, yeah, and you? I'm all right. Sit down. Thank you. What was your day today, baby? Oh, beautiful. And yours? Great. I like your hair. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, baby. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you something. So go ahead. It's about your daughter. My daughter? Yeah. What about, what about my daughter? She doesn't, she doesn't like me. Well, I don't have the slightest idea of what you're saying. Baby, I've tried everything possible for her to love me. But she won't. Well, uh, you don't have to relent on what you're doing, okay? You see, the role you play in this house is like a mother. So you have to keep supporting her and assisting her in whatever she's doing. Keep loving her. Maybe one day she will come to her senses and she will love you back. Okay? I'll do, do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'll do. But please. But baby, you still need to talk to her. Oh, don't worry. I'll do that. Okay? Relax. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Papa, let me go to the kitchen and prepare dinner. Oh, that's nice. What do you want to cook? Rice and stew. Oh, nice. My favorite. <laughs> I know you like it. I love you for that, baby. I love you too. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay, I'm waiting. Uh -huh. Just a cause Everywhere you go In anything you do Oh I You don't conquer the world Now the world is conquering you Thank God Come on Come on Come on Let's go I don't want to talk about Look, what do you want? You know. Look, I have told you before to stop following me around. Oh, come on, how do you expect me to leave you alone? Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, you are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. I have to run after you. I never run after you again in my life. Which Wahala is this? Hello, you call this one Wahala? Seriously? What? You are not even the type of guy that I can sleep with. You see, so you need to that's, see that's where you were wrong. Because the thing is that, you know, remember there was a guy 
and um it's a nigeria guy based in australia you know you have one song this song is like you know i will never let you go i will never let you go i will never let you go until you say yes to me until you say yes you are actually Come on, sweetie, sick i will never let you go you are sick in the head you need to well, well, you don't know if i go to doctor what doctor gonna tell me is that i'm sick because i'm in love with you and i can't let you go Look, unless you say yes to me i have told you before that i'm not in love with you there is no way that i can sleep with a guy like you hey the guy that's driving ferrari what are you talking about? Uh, I can Ferrari indeed. Do you think I go around following people because of material things? I'm satisfied with the guy that I have. So you and your Ferrari can go to wherever you want to go. I don't give a shit about that. Yeah, yeah. You don't like Ferrari. You don't like no. So what do you want? But you can let forget about Ferrari or no Ferrari. Let me tell you something. I do like. I do have feelings for you. Come on, sweetie. You know, of course, if no, no I'm not be running after this, you. Right? It's your sister that you have feelings for, not me. I have feelings for you. No, I won't be running after you. Come on, don't insult me like this. Your sister, because I'm not interested. Now, every girl you see around, uh, you follow them like a dog. So you just stay the hell away from me, and I don't have time for your bullshit. Sister, yeah, I, I don't. Why am I even wasting my time again? talking to a fool like you? Are you Are you serious? You don't know me. Well, I'm going to fuck you, that's for sure. Whatever. Oh, uh, still like they dedicate this song for me and this girl. Well, let's see the guy, that Nigeria guy based in Australia. Well, let's see. Well, let's see Oh, I think that's his song. It's cool one. Hey! Man say, me lese. Ali mama say, me lese. Yo, man say, me lese. No, you didn't want your huku. As you didn't move your huku. As you didn't move your huku. No, you didn't want your whistle. It just be like hell, but this thing is real. This thing is serious. I'm a no big baby. Just a cause everywhere you go in anything you do. Hi there. Hi sweetie, how you doing? I'm fine. Ah. That day something I want to talk to you about. I go ahead, sure. Um, that I don't really like your relationship with Dora. I get very uncomfortable seeing her around. Come here, darling, come. This is Jennifer. I love you so much. You all I have. But the issue of Dora is something I don't want to be disturbing you. Okay? But that you're involving her in our family. This is our private life. And this girl you see here, I know her very well. We go to the same university. She's living a very bad life at the uni. She has dated almost half of the boys at the school campus. You see, this is very difficult for me to do. She doesn't live a good life at the uni. She has dated all the boys there. This is getting serious. Because you've said this repeatedly. Yes, and that's because I don't want her to hurt you. And besides, me and her, we're on the same age group. I'm saying this for your own good. And I love you too. That's why I'm saying this to you. You should listen to me. It's okay. Like I said before, I will take care of it, okay? It's okay, darling. Honestly, it is very difficult for me to let her go now. But all the same, give me some quality time. I will strategize on how to get rid of her, okay? You know I love you so much. I know, and I love you today. You're the only one that I have. And I don't want this girl to hurt you. Please listen to me. It's okay. Like I said, I'll do something about it, okay? Why like today? Of course not. Sweetheart, if I tell you I'm going to do that today, I'm lying to you. And I don't want to lie to you. 
and I can see this is hard for you to do. If you let me, I'll do it for you. Are you thinking about the consequences? I can't let you do this. I said it before. Give me time. I'll figure a way out. All right? Dad, the longer this takes, the more it hurts me. And the harder it's going to be for you to get rid of her. Oh no, on the contrary, the longer it takes, the more time I have to make a very conclusive plan on how to get rid of her. Well, in that case, I'll be in my room then. Well, thank you very much, darling. See, I really understand you love me. And you're doing this because of me. Oh, well, please, you consider me too, okay? Give me some time, I'll take care of it, all right? Okay. Thank you for your time, darling. Thanks, Dad. I'll be inside. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, my world. What am I going to do now? This is a very difficult situation. How can I make my daughter happy? I don't want to hurt her. And at the same time, I am in love with this daughter. Oh, God help me. I don't want to make mistakes. Get at all. What's the problem? Girl, I am really stressed out. Is your family affected with the Ebola? It would have been better if it was the Ebola virus. That would have been more better. What is more bigger than Ebola these days? Is Ebola in America? You don't listen to the news? It's all over the TV that they brought some doctors from Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia. It's all over the newspapers, TV, everywhere. They ride right in the United States here. Girl, that's not even my problem right now. What's your problem? It's my relationship. But the last time I checked, you told me you and the minister, he loves you. It's not about the minister, Fatima. It's his daughter. That girl has been a pain in my butt. And she's been telling her dad all sorts of nasty things about me. And the dad is becoming to buy it. You need to buy her out. Fatima, how am I going to do it? Buy her gift. Bring her close to you. Love her. Treat her like a sister. She will love you. I have done everything in my power to love that girl. But she hated me for no reason. I'll take you somewhere to do some shopping for her. That girl, they are very rich. And she's in control of her dad's wealth. Well, Fatima, I'm just gonna give it a try. Oh yes, girl, it's gonna work. We didn't see if it doesn't work, come back. But I, I'm sure it's gonna work. Trust me, just, just call me tomorrow. Well, I'll take you for your word. Oh, God, forget my money. What do you want to take? Oh, girl, I'm all right. Don't oh, worry no, you have to take it. something, girl. You I am fine. No, no, I can let you, like, you have okay. to take something. Okay, water will be good. Okay, let me get you something. There you go, girl. Thanks, babe. Uh -huh. Just a 
Address her with such foul words. This is the woman I love and want to marry, and very soon she will be your stepmother. You should have called her some respect. That over my dead body, that this bitch becomes my stepmother. I have warned you, stop using such foul words. She deserves more, Daddy. Dora, it's okay, my dear. It's all right. She's my daughter and she's your friend as well. Okay? Let's forgive her. That's okay, honey. All right, darling. Can I have a word with you, please, privately? Of course. Dora, please, can you excuse us for a moment? You can stay at the reception for a second. That's okay, honey. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What is it, Jennifer? Dad, this girl is not a good girl. We go to the same university. She has dated almost half of the boys at the school campus. Jennifer, on the contrary, this girl has not given me a reason to believe she's a bad girl. I don't even see her that way. She's so nice to me, she makes me happy. I love her. Dad, this girl is not good for you. You should trust me. This girl is a bad girl. And you have to send her away, or I'll do it for you. Jennifer, you will not do no such thing. Now remember, I have told you before to give me some quality time. It is not easy to send away somebody you love, you know that? That, that is why I said, let me send her away, and you will never see her around again. You will not do such thing, Jennifer. I'll be in my office. Uh -huh. Bob? Yes, madam. Anytime you see Dora anywhere around my dad's office or his compound, kick her ass out. Yes, madam. Do I make myself clear? Yes, madam. Cool. He don't enter your brain. You know fit explain. You just a cause pain. Everywhere you go, in anything you do. Oh, I'll see you later. All right, you take care. Be careful. Thank you. What is God bring you? What is your love? Just a cause Everywhere you go In anything you do Oh I You don't conquer the world Now the world is conquering you What is your pleasure What is your gain Here. Yeah. Oh. Here, yeah, so the new dress. Wow. 
You can take a rest a long time ago. This is where I shop. Oh boy, wow, look at this one. Yeah, you can even come over here. Yeah, yeah I love the best is here. Yeah. I told you you're gonna get some good stuff here. Yeah, she got some nice stuff in here. They are so pretty. Ninety-seven fifty-four. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Come next time, okay? Oh, sure. Okay. Take your stupid gift. You need them. I don't need your stupid gift. I have money to buy me this gift. This cheap. This is too cheap. I'm a minister, so I can afford this myself. I don't need your stupid gift. Take it away. Bought them for you. I don't need your it's, stupid gift, Dora. It's all yours. I don't need it. But you need them, Dora. I have enough money to buy the gift, not this cheap stuff that you bought here. I don't need it. I have done everything for this girl to like me. Dora, do you think this cheap stuff is gonna make me like you? That is over my dead body. In fact, this is my dad's money you're oh using to God. buy me gift. Oh I don't need your stupid gift. Take your stupid gifts and leave, I don't okay? Know what else to do. I don't need it, please. And please, hurry up and get out of my room. You don't enter your brain. You know free to explain. You just did cause pain. Everywhere you go, in anything you do. Oh, I. Don't conquer the world Now the world is conquering you What is your pleasure? What is your Hello to this house. Hey, Uncle Alex. How are you doing? I'm fine. How is your father and your mother? They are fine, but they have gone to an appointment. Really? Yes, Uncle. Where? In the city. What can I offer you, Uncle? Don't worry yourself. Besides, I'm here for you. I'm not here for your parents. Are you sure, Uncle? I'm sure. Okay, thank you. Sit down. Thank you. In that case, let me hear it, Uncle. Yeah. Um, how old are you now? I just turned 14 this week. Oh, I see. But you never tell your uncle to even buy you a birthday gift. I'm sorry, Uncle. You know, I've been coming here often these days, and I don't have a mobile phone to call you. In that case, don't worry. I will buy you one more by phone. You have to hide it from your parents not to see it. Only when you need to call your uncle, you give me a call. Why should I hide the phone from my parents? Because, because of your age, you are not allowed to use mobile phone. Except to become 18 years. Oh, I see. That's why my parents refuse to buy me a mobile phone. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen my point? Yes. That's why, except to become 18 years for you use mobile phone. You know, there is something I'd like to tell you. Like what? 
Have you ever kissed before? No, I never kissed before. Oh, that's the sweetest part. Is it sweet? Because I see people kissing on TV. What is kissing? Kissing is very romantic. What is romantic? Romantic is when the body is ready for sex. I tell you, sex is really good for your body. When you have sex, you will like it and you will love it. No, uncle. I don't want sex. My parents gave me a strong warning never to have sex until I turn 18. Besides, sex is not good for children under age. Yes, Lydia. Yes, uncle. Sex is really good. Your parents know that if you have sex, you will feel the sweetest part of sex. So, Uncle, sex is good? Yes, it's good for you. Uncle, do you want to show me? Because you say sex is good. Yes. Do you have a room on your own? Yes, I have. Yeah, that's good, Lydia. Well, in that case, let's go up. They go and show me your room. They will flow. Okay, Uncle, I can't wait to test it. Yeah, open your leg. Take the turret off. No, Uncle. I don't want to take the towel off. Why? I don't want. Okay, then. Right. Open your leg. Yeah, come closer. Come closer. Yeah, yeah come. And now open your leg. Okay. Uh, uh. What what you know what this thing? You know the name of this? Uh, uh, open your leg. Okay. Open. Put it inside. Put my dick in. Okay. There is the hole. Uh, oh, okay, it's good now. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to help you. Okay. Oh, it's painful. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Second time when I come, you will like it. It's the first one. It's already open. It's already open. So the second time is going to be good. It's not true. Please don't come back again. No, I will come the second time. Just allow me. Hmm? Yes, one. Uncle. Yeah, just allow me one more time. Oh, Uncle, I'm bleeding. See blood. Yeah, that's the way it is. You must have to come out. You know, this is the first time. Don't worry, eh? Everything's going to be fine. Yeah, this is the starting. The starting happened like this. Every one so far, you know? You can ask your friends. Oh, yeah. Now you are a girl, man. Very good. Next time, no more blood. Easy. Are you sure, Uncle? Easy. Next time, easy. Uncle, I only do this for you because I love you. Yeah, I know. Me too. I love you. Hmm? I you love me. I love you. Serious. Everything for you. Okay. Don't tell your parents. No, if I tell them, they'll kill me. I know. Don't tell them. No. Be silent. Tell them. Next time, when I'm coming, mm. I'll bring you a mobile. Are you sure? Yes, I'll buy you a mobile phone. Okay, Uncle. Yeah. I love you, Uncle. I love you too. Now you know how to kiss now? Yes, Uncle. I know how to kiss eh? now. Yes. Well, give me a kiss. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice you. 
and it's bring sweet. your mother. It's sweet. Woo! Yes. Nice you. Uh -huh. Jennifer. I don't need your greetings, by the way. I've been planning to talk to you. About what? Listen, since you don't want to listen to me, I want you to stay the hell away from my father. I love my father very much. He's the only one that I have. The only thing I have. And I don't want you or anything to hurt him. The next time I will see you next to my dad, I'll make your life miserable. Do you understand? Do you get it? Jennifer, is that a threat or mm. what? No, I don't make empty threats. This is the fact. I hope I have made myself clear. Stay the hell away from my father. I'm not gonna warn you the next time. Do you understand? I don't take trick, girl. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You? I don't want to work too hard. You come here. Really? Yeah, Lee. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Man. Well, maybe let me just leave you. Why? To get I love this. Really? Yeah, you should do this more. I miss you, though. I miss you, too. Really? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Don't walk too hard now. I'm looking at you, I don't want to work with you. Are you sure? Yeah, but I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. I'm going to spend more time. Are you sure? I'm so serious. I'm dead serious. For real. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? How you doing? I'm fine. How is Peter? Peter not here right now. Right. Okay. Do you have a session with him? I gave him a job and I need it by next week. Can I have a seat first, please? Yeah, excuse her, please. Can she sit over there? Baby, okay, this is my job. Please. Come on. You can't be looking like that. You're looking all sexy. You can't do Thank that. Thank you. I'll be there in a minute. Okay? Where is Peter? Oh, I'm sorry. Peter went for vacation. He should be back in about two weeks. I gave him a job and I need it back tomorrow. What's your name again? Are you new here? I just started working about two weeks. Okay, when he comes back, just tell him I need my city by tomorrow, okay? All right, I will. Thank you. So you say what your name was? Um, Jennifer, tell him I need it back tomorrow. All right. It just be like hell, but this thing not real. Honey, I came here easily to see you. I met your daughter, Jennifer. She threatens to kill me. <laughs> it sounds funny. I mean... Funny is not funny. I'm telling the truth. Yeah, I know. See, Jennifer is my daughter and I know her very well. And you're worried about it? Come on! I'm serious. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Yeah, you just ignore Jennifer is so tired, you know. Okay? You have to be patient with her. Forget whatever she's saying. She doesn't really mean it. Alright? But you promised to speak to her the last time. She's still acting the same. Yeah. You see, it's just jealousy. She's my daughter. I know her very well. I know 
think is jealous that is worried her. I mean, Jennifer is just like the mother. The mother has this high level of jealousy, and I see, I see it in Jennifer too. Let's ignore how I'll talk to her, okay? Don't worry. Honey, please, you have to do something. I will. Because I'm scared. I don't want anything to happen to me. Please. I told you she doesn't mean it. Come on. She doesn't mean She can't even do it. She can't have a fly. Are you sure about that? Relax yourself. Don't worry. <laughs> And I'm just scared. It's okay. So, how's your day been today? Oh, tired. Tired? What were you up to? What were you doing? Oh, Why there's a tired? lot of work today. I had to do at the office, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I have to stop you from there. I was let them stop stressing my wife. That'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> so, take mm -hmm. your drink, honey, please. Are you looking at me? I'm just trying to make sure that you're okay. It better be, because if you're looking underneath my legs, you'll regret the day you came into this family. <laughs> Trust me, madam. It's my job to take care of you. I don't care. Uh, it just be like hell, but this thing is real. This thing is serious. I'm a no big play play. You know fit explain you just a cause everywhere you go in anything you do oh I, you don't come Because madam needs to see you. Who is madam? Don't worry about it. Don't question me. Just Hold come up. with me. Don't worry about what? Don't worry about it. You want me to Just go somewhere? Yes. Who's in the car? Daughters need to see you right now. Who's that? Don't worry about it. Stop questioning me. Come on. What do you mean? I'm not going. Hey, you better come before I drag you along. Is that a threat? Yeah, it's real. That's my boyfriend, and you can't just take him. Hold on, who the fuck you think you are? Wait, 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 wait,
All right. Every time. Anyway, no problem. What time was the appointment? Oh my goodness! It's almost time for us to go for our appointment. Yeah. Hello to this house. Hey, hello, Alex. How are you? Good, Patrick. How are you doing? I'm um, good. I was wondering why you stopped coming to see all these days. I yeah. know. I guess so. Because see? this day he just abandoned us. He don't even get time for us. Sit down, boy. Alex. Yeah. Happy. Lost and found. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just abandoned all this day. Yeah, because I've got a very good job. Really? Yes. You get a job? Yes. Oh, that's good. Praise God. Praise be to God. Now that you got a better job, I think it's time for you to settle. What do you think? I think so, honey. Yeah, that would be great. That's good. You know, now you get a job. What's the next step? Yeah, um, the next step is be settled as you said. Anyway, where is Lena? We are running mm, late. I guess she must be in her room. I think Lying down let's get her her Oh, okay. Excuse me. Yeah. All, right. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay, honey. Uh, Alex. So it works. What did you just call me? Alex. Because you know why? It's a mistake. I've got a very good job. Oh, I see. Yeah. Why are you so happy? happy. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you now, Patrick, I'm Alex. <laughs> I hope I'll get a better job like you! <laughs> Patrick! You cannot be happy like that! You now becoming a big boy. Yeah, you can see, money is working out. It will be very nice when you settle. Yeah, yeah, that's be good. Uh, honey, hurry up, please! Yeah. We are Lina. running late. Oh, the nurse. You're always in bed. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Yeah, honey, I'm here. Yeah. I think she'll be downstairs soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, she'll yeah. be downstairs soon. Alright then. Is she Sorry, coming? Alex. Um, yeah, yeah, I think she's coming. Right. Yes, Daddy. Bring yourself here. That's why you're always in the room. Hello, Alex. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. I don't think you are good or you need her, you are fine. This day, you feel very lazy and weak. I hope you are not pregnant. Mommy, you shouldn't discuss this in public. Why not? She's our only daughter. Alice is just a friend. Can't you see her? How can she be friendly when she's still a boy? How can you say a thing like that? You and I discussed this thing here earlier, right? Mm -hmm. She's very lazy these days. She's weak. She has a lot of lessons going up here. Oh, okay. I hope so. Anyway, I'm not here to discuss that. I'm running this she's for my appointment. She's still a boy. Yeah. Look, can't you see this girl? Patrick, she's just. 14 years of age. Tell him. She cannot I keep telling now. him there. He's still a you know, she's still she's, a baby. Yeah. 14 year old child cannot be a, a, a Alex. A, a. Alex. You know, this is my daughter. I know her very well. Look at her dressing code. Patrick, Look at her. Patrick, listen, I've been coming to this house. You're my best friend. I'm telling you, I've been seeing her. I'm not here to discuss this. I'm running late for my appointment. You Honey, bring the matter also, we should discuss it. No, next friend. time we will discuss this. I'm running late. Yeah, my friend, I'm telling you. We have a you know, She's a small girl. But so she's still a baby, that. 14 year old child, and you say that she's. Alex, you know, you came the wrong time. We have urgent matter to handle in the city. Yeah. So I and my wife will be on our way to go there. Okay, in that case, I will take my leave. Okay. I'll, then. I'll come back next time. All right, no worries. All right, Patrick. Okay, okay Alex. Take care. Yeah. Think yeah. about what I told yeah. you, okay? About settling down. Honey, before. just forgot about that thing. Alex know what he's doing. All right? He's your friend. Tell him. Yeah, I will talk to him. We are going out now, Linia. Please look after the house. Okay, Daddy. Do you hear me? Yes, Daddy. Please look after the house. Yes, Daddy. Make sure all the doors are closed. Okay, Daddy. And one more thing. Don't step out of this house until we come. All right? Okay, Daddy. Okay. Honey, hmm? let's go, please. Lock the house. Okay, okay lock the doors. Bye, 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 Bye. Bye. Can come see you. No? What do you mean? What do you mean what I'm doing here? <laughs> Are you serious? Last time I checked me and you was together, what you mean? What do you mean, you and I? Did you remember what you just did? The last day? You left me outside and followed that stupid girl called Jennifer? Really? And you're here? You're here for what? Mark. What? What's going on? What you mean what's going on? You asking me? What's going on? With what? So I can't go to a girl call and it was something else? You're stupid. 
What do you take me for? Man. Why huh? We, why we what do you take this? me for? We need money. I don't care. Need money? For what? Don't you need... You, you have to your... disrespect me? Ever since you met this Jennifer girl... Oh, here we go again. You've been acting completely different. What are you talking about? You crazy. What's going on? Look. Really? And you're here? You're Look. here to do what? Look. Look what? I'm not here to talk about nothing. We need money. How could you disrespect we... me like listen, that? Listen, listen. I need money and Jennifer gonna give me some money. We ain't, we broke, okay? From now on, I'm living with Jennifer. I'm here to apologize to you. I'm living, I'm living with Jennifer. Are you serious? She... What you mean I'm serious? You gotta listen we... to me, huh? Listen, listen. What's wrong with you? Think about what? All the beautiful memories. Oh my God. Our future. It's gone with the birds. Our beautiful uh, plans. Man, listen, I'm gone. You, you just want to let that go because of what? Because his father is a minister? Because she got money? I'm a no No free to explain, you just did cause space. Everywhere you go, in anything you do, oh, I, you don't conquer the world. Now the world is conquering you. What is your pleasure? What is your gain? If you have something to say, you better say it because I'm listening with my ears and not with my mouth. I can see that you're going for a fight. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not in for a fight today. Oh, please. I'm not here to fight or argue with you either. Neither am I here to listen to your bullshit. I'm here to tell you to leave my boyfriend alone. And I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mark, when did you become his mouthpiece? Really? Mm -hmm. Well, ever since you start taking him personal in your picture, that's me. Angela, you know, you never seem to amaze me, darling. Me seeing you running over Mark, like, you're wasting your time. Leave Mark alone. Let a real woman take care of him. <clears throat> you cannot even take care of your outer body. How much can you take care of a man and even take care of the inside of you? Oh, shut up! You bloody lie. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> and how is that concerning? Anyway, my dear, this world we're living, 
money work because of the money that I have. That's why I can truly possess what you think you have. Oh, really? Do you think money is everything? Definitely. My love, you're getting it all wrong. Because Mark and I, our relationship is real and not based on money. It's because of the money and the power that I have. Do you know, do you know who you're talking to? Jennifer, the minister's daughter. And you're here blabbing. My dear, money talks. Who shit works? You cannot oh, do anything about it. Nothing. You know, right now, you're really sounding as if you're sick up here. What even give you the guts to bring your silly self in front of me to tell me all this bullshit? If you think Mark loves you, why did he let you on the road and follow me? Oh, yes, he do. Why? Yes, he do. That's if he really you wants you, that stood down so low, Jennifer, Mark will never leave me. Okay? But I'm warning you. I'm warning you, Jennifer, stay the hell away from my man. Or else, you'll face me. I don't care the amount of money you got in your account. Jennifer, again, I'm warning you for the last time. If I don't, you'll face me. You're threatening yes. a minister's daughter. Oh, shut it. You're minister's daughter, my me. ass. Shut it. You're threatening me, babe. Me and you will see who go down first. Fine, we shall see that. We shall see who goes down first. We shall see, Jennifer. You are such a low life. You stay the hell away from Mark. I'm warning you again. You and don't want to go there. What if I do? Angela, you talk too much. I don't like arguing with Paul. You don't have it all. Jennifer, I have the money, I have the power. Jennifer, uh, stay the hell away do. from Mark. Stay the hell away from Mark. And if I don't, or else, I'll personally strangle you to death. <laughs> And don't you dare touch me. Mind you, this is a freaking public place. We shall see Cheap most of first. Get your filthy self beside me. Oh, boy. You talk too much and do nothing. Poor will always be poor, and the rich and famous will always be on top, my dear. Bye. You don't enter your brain. You know we explain. You just a cause Everywhere you go. So you come take me out of here. Are you ready to go? Yes, madam. No fit explain. You just a cause Everywhere you go, in anything you do. Oh I you don't come. How you doing? Good. Yeah. How may I help you? Um, is your mother here? What's your name? Mark. Give me one second. Hi, madam. Um, oh, one gentleman is here to see you. Okay, all right. Oh, when you go straight down the hall, mm -hmm. the third room on your right. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Come in. Hey, you? Hey, babe. And how are you? Mm. I'm fine. <laughs> Shit. How is it, babe? Thank you. How you doing today? Okay. That's by the way. Hey. Um, your girlfriend threatening to kill me. Wait a minute. I do not have a girlfriend, okay? You my girlfriend. So, all right. Now what, what was you gonna say? She threatened to kill me if I don't stay away from you. Angela? Yeah, Angela. For what? Threatening to kill me if I don't leave you alone. I'm gonna take care of that, okay? Please, you have to do something about it because I won't have it the next time. Don't worry about it, I'll take care of it. Please do. Okay. Look at you. Hey, come on, man. Shouldn't be worried about stuff like that. 
I should be. Why? Somebody's threatening to kill a minister's daughter. Think back. Relax. It's okay. That's all right. Don't let her, don't let her get to you, okay? Okay. Looking all sexy and stuff. Thank you. What? So, why didn't you come by the house yesterday? Oh. I got in the car. I got out of my house, got in the car, tried to start it, and won't start. Something wrong with that car. Wow. It won't work. Since I saw that car, I know something was wrong with it. You need a new one. Psh, I need a new one like today. Well, that's what I'm saying. What are you saying, man? Well, we can go so you can make a choice of your own car. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah, you just have wait, to be. Wait, wait, what's the catch? What do I have to do? You just have to be a good boy and everything will be yours. I can start right now to be a good boy. Okay. For real, man. Okay? How's that? Okay. Is that a good start? Mm hmm. You look good. Thank you. Girl. Mm. But so mm. we go tomorrow and you make a, a choice of your own car. Babe, this is too much. Are you serious? Minister's daughter. I'm not a little girl. I have all the money in the world. Who am I to say no to Minister Daughter? Come, on. Come here. Mm. Okay. I'll see you later. Alright, cool. Don't work too hard. I won't. For real? Mm-hmm. I'll call you when I get home. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Uh -huh. Hey, babe. Hey. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're looking good. Thank you. I'm a lucky man. Mm-hmm. Um, babe, can you massage my legs, please? I massage your leg every night. That's good. Oh, my God. Okay. I'll um, do it for you. Right away, babe. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking of something for quite a while now. Like what? Uh, you know how my dad doesn't want to send his girlfriend Dora away? Mm hmm I have a plan of getting hooked by with a gangster. Are you trying to leave me? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Uh, you know how my dad doesn't like gangster shit and all that? Mm hmm So I'm planning to bring someone home, introduce him as my husband or my boyfriend, something like that. Oh, wow. I see yeah. where you're going with it. I can play. Because I can't. You have a boyfriend. I can't go introduce you as a fake one. Yeah. I understand. So what you want to do? What's the plan? I don't know. We have to put our ideas together and see how this will work. I have a friend. And um, he got dreads and all that other stuff. Yeah? Is he really looking rough and shit? <laughs> He's look like a Jamaican. Okay, that's good. Cool. How rough can you get? I'm just like, but yeah, but he looked like a Jamaican. So, all right, cool. And so, got dreads and all that stuff. When can I see him? So we can do this as soon as. When do you want to see him? We can do it as soon as yeah, possible. Yeah, as soon as possible. When this all is happening, I need a video of everything, yeah, because I need to show that to my dad, and it has to happen in my dad's house. Oh man, dad's house. Yeah. No, so I'll I'll set everything up. Just uh -huh. bring this dude around, and everything else will be ready. But I need the video, no mistakes. I need the video to show to my dad. You know that guy is not easy to convince. Hey, okay. Cool. Alright. Make it work. Alright, man. Alright, cool. I will. We can do that. Cool. Now let me get to this love. <laughs> something of late maybe like what my daughter she's not very comfortable with your stay here okay you seem like you're afraid of your daughter uh -huh. what do you mean i'm sure i'm speaking english here because you're asking me to leave because of your daughter should you come to think of it Frankly speaking, we're not even supposed to live under the same roof like husband and wife when we're not legally married. Then why are you doing it? You see, any man that has just one child 
is prone to tolerating nonsense and bullshit. Well, yes. Besides, she's your friend. She's the one that introduced you to me. And now you're living in the same house with me. I did. I feel her pain. You can imagine that. Please, let us contribute to make her happy, okay? Baby, just do what is right. Thank you very much. Thank you for making this very easy for me. Thank you for not complicating your shoes. No problem. So when do you want me to leave? This month? Don't worry. We won't be very hasty about it, okay? We'll take it cool. Alright? You know I'll do anything for you, baby. And that's why I love you so much. I love you too. You just a cause everywhere you go, in anything you do. Oh I you don't come. seen you for a while, dude. Man, I've been busy, you know me. I got girls every day. I'm on that Laker, I'm on that Hennessy, you know me. This dude right here. Yeah. But anyway, dog, why yeah. you come to the show? Man, I was busy, you know me. Girls, 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 all day. A new one? I, man, every day, new hoes. But anyway, hey, I got something to tell you. Let's crack it. You know the girl I'm dating, right? Yeah, you mean the girls? Wow. Yeah. Had some bad chicks. Straight? When I said bad chicks, yeah. Bad females. Something about like Big, big, you know, you, like you know me, I like to. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yo, yeah. no, I got something to tell you. What do you got? You know, there's no chick I'm dating. Mm -hmm. The minister's the daughter. Yeah. Okay. This is a plan, man. She have a, her, do her, her daddy's dating this, her friend. The minister's daughter. The minister daughter, yeah, daddy's that dating. That bad chick, a little short. Bro, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah. So, yeah. the minister daughter, the one I'm dating, right, her friend, mm -hmm. Dora, is dating. The dad, right? So my girl don't like that. So that's why she want me to hook you up straight with my girl, with her. So you mean I can't? There you go again, man. <laughs> no, no, you cannot hit my girl, man. man. She bad. Take take that off your head. No, 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 no. Right, X that right, out. Right, X that right, out. Right, right, but boy. what I want you to do, yeah. I want you to date her for a week. Straight. Her dad don't like, you know. Man, fuck <laughs> that. I'm I'm put, I'm put a gun in his ass. Fuck that. You Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> not, not no gangster, man. It's just nah, the plan, man. Nah, nah, nah. Look, I'll keep it, I'll keep, keep it like that. Nah. But her dad don't like, you know. So she wants you to date her. Yeah. She want to introduce you to the dad. <laughs> and then, you know, she just to get her dad nerves. It's like a payback thing. You know what I mean? Just tell me you can't do that for me. Man, we're gravy. We're gravy, for sure. All right, bro. Got your, sure. I got your back. You hear me? I got you. Man, man. I stay here all day. You know what I mean? I'm going to check Come on visit you. me. I got you. Hey, by, by the way. By 11 o'clock, come over, I got some bitches for you, all right? I can't do that, man, you know. Hey. <laughs> I got you, man. Hey, all right. we did to Holland, man. She want it done as soon as possible. All right, let me know. I'll do that for you. All right, it's all right, gravy. All right, bro. All right, for sure. Uh-huh.
this dance It's so painful How we turn the world From a hobby plush to a place of pain Darkness so dark Anything you do for this life you remember no matter how you smart one day you must give a count to You don't enter your brain, you know feel this bleed So you just discard you just because pain But remember, one day You only pay